I recently started playing around with Google Earth Studio and for those who are not aware, Google Earth Studio is like Google Earth or like Google Maps where you get satellite imagery but they give you this added feature of animating certain camera movements. So it gives you options for animating your camera movements like what you've seen in the intro video. Now I'm a guy that likes to travel but the year 2020 isn't really being good to those people who like to travel so instead of traveling, I started looking for virtual ways to travel or visit the places I wanted to visit like for example this picture I took way back in 2016 this is taken in Nice France and I decided to go visit even if just virtually so this is how I discovered Google Earth and Google Earth Studio and I was really amazed like really really amazed at the quality of footage and video that you could get just from this app did I mention it was free so today I wanted to show you guys how to get started with Google Earth Studio Click on the link below and it should take you to a screen that looks like this. Take note that you should be using Google Chrome because other browsers are not yet supported. Now Google Earth Studio makes starting up easy. Just click on the arrow beside blank project and it should give you some templates to start with. For now, I want to demonstrate the orbit template. So when you start, it should give you a search bar below. Just search for the location you want to start with. For now, I want to look at Empire State Building in New York. Now Google Earth Studio gives you a lot of options for camera angles. In this screen, you can see the high quality imagery you can actually get with Google Earth Studio. To go to the next step, click on the green arrow and it should give you a few controls such as radius, altitude, target altitude, and start heading. Radius is how far the camera is from your current target. Altitude controls your current camera height and target altitude is the height of the point the camera is currently pointing at. You can change then the duration of your loop. When you hit next, it should give you an animation screen where you can fine tune and finally edit your animations. To demonstrate some simple animations you can make yourself, I will open a new project. For this new project, let's go to Japan and let's go to Tokyo. And again, I'd like to point out the really good quality of imagery you can get from Google Earth Studio. For this project, I want to do a simple flyby through Tokyo. So first, we just want to scout out our path. I want to do this one. We then start by making keyframes at the point we want to start at. To make keyframes, simply click on these dots. These dots will save your current camera position as well as the direction your camera is pointing. Then go to the frame you want to end at as well as go to the ending position you want to end your animation at. Then make a keyframe on this location. Now when you play back, it should play the animation starting from your start point up until your end point. I like to change ever so slightly the camera panning and tilt just to give a bit more cinematic feel to my animation. This is exactly how I made the animation you saw in the intro. When you're satisfied with the animation you've produced, you can then simply hit on render and it should give you some controls over how you want to save that animation. But an important thing to consider is the attribution that Google requires you to have on your footage. Finally, I just want to demonstrate a more complex animation I've been working on. So this animation, I started from outer space and I decided to end at that point I wanted to visit in France. This is still a work in progress but I'm very happy with the animation features that Google Earth Studio gives me. But more than that, I'm very thankful for my newfound ability to travel around the world without actually having to leave my house.
So that was Google Earth Studio. I just wanted to demonstrate some of the features and some of the things you can do with Google Earth Studio, like how to animate certain things. And I'm thinking of making more tutorials as I get the hang of this uh, application. So if you're interested in following along, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to get notified for future videos. That's it for now. I hope you liked that video. I hope you found it informative. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.